YouTube! ¿Qué pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video. Okay, let's go. Right, there are a couple of days left to actually farm the hell out of Chronicle Quests again. Um, Caleb has given us a notice that they've um, realized there were some issues when it dropped at first, the times two fragment drops, and um, yeah, they, they uh, fixed it. Uh, apparently and everyone got like i think 10 or 15 soul tickets as um compensation i was hoping for five orbs but yeah um nevertheless um i don't know what was broken back then but for me it dropped more like i didn't have any issues where it didn't proc uh, the times two fragment drop um but a lot of people did have the issue so yeah it's a good thing that Caleb brought it back now if we head over to chronicle quest um, as you can see, um, I'm farming it now as we speak. I, f I believe the fragment drop rate times two is up until the 20th of November. So that is until, um, that is what? What date is that? Next week, uh, next Sunday. So basic, uh, well, coming Sunday. So basically, um, there isn't anything better to be doing now um, apart from farming uh, fragments times two or uh, times three. I mean, yeah. I mean, the quest is pretty easy, like, the Chronicle quests are actually very easy. If you are struggling with them, just uh, try build up your characters. Important is that you try and get those, um, uh, the bonus characters, because they actually increase the drop of um, the, the, the fragments you're actually getting. For this current stage, this is part one, the third one. Um, I'm missing actually one bonus character for the extra fragment, so I'm running with two bonus units, which you can see here, Uryu and um, Ichigo and White. So basically, um, I'm looking to get around 60 to 80 or 90 fragments per ticket here, around that I should be like. We're going to check it out in a moment. But yeah, nevertheless, I really recommend usually going for five, 5k fragments on each and for each part. But this time around, as we've got a times two drop, like you might as well go up to 10k. Why? Because that saves you the following month to farm it again. That way you're farming essentially like for two months ahead. And um, you're saving yourself some tickets for the following month, obviously, which you can then use for, um, for uh, point event farming. And uh, you, you already got that chapter, you know, finished. So you don't need to bother again. With farming chronicle quest because i actually hate farming chronicles now let's see what i got um right 48 48 48 54 90 um 96 so you get the occasional 90s uh, drop when i was doing it with three bonus characters i was getting the occasion 140 uh fragment drop so uh that, that is looking good I'm, I'm i'm feeling that definitely let's check it out did i get to 10k yeah, so basically I'm on 10k here on part one. Um, let's head over to part two. And that's basically how I do it. And I try and farm for each part again up until 10k. So I save myself basically the, the effort of having to farm it for the next two months. I mean, I already got enough not, not to have it to farm it next month either. So the next time I have to farm it literally is January. But uh, still, um, I like to farm ahead. And I can only advise you guys do the same. Farm uh, Chronicle Quest now, get those fragments times two, and uh, you're going to be good to go for the next couple of months. And obviously, the goal is to always buy everything from the shop. Let's check it out. I mean, I already bought the things I need, and yeah, most most of the time, if you're needing all of these, you can buy them too. But for these Silver Scrolls, I got loads, and these tickets, I don't really need them. So, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend buying droplets. I believe there is no limit to them, no cap to them, and you don't get much. Look like 331 um, uh, with 6,620, you only get 1,655 droplets. That is, that is too low. So I wouldn't really recommend buying those things, but what really is important buying is always those scrolls. Um, there are obviously more scrolls if you haven't bought them already. Um, they are actually very important to max out your characters and strengthen your characters which is very important for end game so obviously that's the goal right here that is why chronicle quest farming is so important to basically buy anything with scrolls and on the part one shop you also have the uh, opportunity to buy orbs 50 orbs a month for free which is 
nice to have obviously so yeah farm chronicle quest definitely uses opportunity times two runs and yeah don't forget to smash the like button take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys next time